Hi and welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. Now in this tutorial we're going to look at moving our content that we created um, in earlier tutorials down the bottom here. Okay, so the images and text and we're going to move it up into our div tag site. There's a few things we need to do to our div tags. We need to um, clear off some of the heights that we've used and we're going to have to remove the background colors as well. So let's look at that now. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the heights off this heading, okay, and we'll remove it off the nav and the text box as well. Um, now I used heights when we we're building this tutorial just so that our website had some um, structure to it and um, because um, the widths definitely need to be there because we need to tell this text box that it occupies this width and the image only this part but the heights need to be a bit more flexible in terms of what content goes in them. So this heading um, box here um, needs to be whatever the size of the content goes into it. So at the moment it's forced at 200 pixels. You can see it down here. Okay, it's been forced at a height of 200 pixels. I'd like to remove that height and leave it at zero. And what will happen is the content that goes inside of that div will give it its height. And in this case, it's that image below. So the first thing I'm going to do is click inside my heading div. I know I'm inside my heading div by looking down here. You can see in my breadcrumbs, I'm inside heading div. If you can't find it, okay, what you can do is just click on main CSS and have a look through your list here of selectors. Okay, I'm in the selectors one until you find heading and click on it. Either way, you'll get to the same part. Now, in terms of height, I'm going to go through and use this um, uh, trash can at the end here to remove CSS property and click that. And you'll notice that my text box, um, the div tag is really, really thin now. That's why very often when I'm designing a website, I'll add heights only to remove them later on because it's very hard to work on a website that has really thin, um, uh, really thin height. So what we're going to do is copy and paste the image here inside of it. So I'm going to select it, okay, and go to uh, edit cut, edit and go to cut. I'm going to move up to here and try and get my cursor inside the heading div. Now it can be really hard to get your cursor in flashing inside the um, heading div now. So um, switch over to code view. It's a lot easier to get your cursor in the right place. So I'm going to go to code view, get my cursor flashing in the right spot. Okay, you can see him there. He's flashing in between the um, opening of the div ID heading and then there's the close of it there. So I want my cursor flashing just in between. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out. Go to design. I know it's in the right place. I'm going to go to paste. You can see he's appeared inside there, inside the div. And next thing we're going to look at is um, we're going to put uh, the navigation in and we'll remove the height. So let's do it the other way around because it's a little easier. Let's grab this stuff. Okay. And I'm going to cut it. Now, when I'm cutting um, some tags, watch this. If I go to edit cut, okay, we use my shortcut, which is command X on a Mac or control X on a PC. Um, you'll notice it's left one of these uh, bullet points behind, which is, um, you might remember from an earlier tutorial called an unordered list. Okay, so that's the tag that defines these bullet points. Now the problem is it's left that behind. Okay, so I get this kind of residual stuff. So I didn't actually cut at all. So I'm gonna to go to edit, undo. Okay, to make sure you grabbed everything when you wanna select it, is you can use these breadcrumbs along the top, the bottom here. So you can see I've selected all of this. But watch, when I go to code view, I've actually missed a bit. I've left, I've selected the word contact us and the word home, which is kind of what I've seen in the design view, but I've left all this other stuff behind. I've left um, this list item, which explains where the link goes. It's left this UR, UL, okay, it's list, uh, left all of this stuff. I want the whole thing. So I want this whole bit that goes from the opening of the UL, okay, which is the unordered list, which is the bullet point, and to the closing of it and everything in between. So you have to flick between design view and code view quite a bit just to double check you've got everything. Um, if you're in design view and want to do the same thing is click inside any of these parts and watch this. If I, you can see I'm inside this A, which is an active link, okay? Um, inside the list item, okay, which is the different bullet points inside this unordered list. So I click the UL. Okay, I'll do the same thing. Watching code view, I've actually got the whole part. So quite often I continue in design view and just make sure I grab the UL and then go to edit cut, okay, or control X on a PC or command X on a Mac, then come up to navigation 
and I'm going to delete this text here. Now this text gets put in by Dreamweaver by default when you're adding a div. It doesn't do anything. It just uh, just a bit of a bit of a visual cue that that is the name of the div. Okay, so you end up deleting those um, right out. Okay, so it can be quite hard sometimes to click in Design View into my div tag now that there's no content inside of it. It tries to jump all over the place but won't go inside this nav. Okay, you see I keep clicking here and it keeps grabbing the image along the top. Okay, so to make sure I'm pasting this text in the right part, I've got to go to Code View and I'm going to click inside this nav here. So you can see there's the div ID nav that's opening and there's a closing. I've got to make sure that the cursor is flashing in between those two, so I know it inside this div, go back to design view and then use edit paste. Okay, it goes inside, it is too big, okay, so it's quite a tall little list. So my navigation, unfortunately, the yellow part isn't big enough to contain it, so it spills out the edges. So what we're going to do now is do what we did for this top div and remove the height of this nav. So the easiest way, click nav down here in your breadcrumbs. Okay, there he is. Um, so I've selected him. And I'm going to go over here, you can see he selected nav in my selectors, and the height here, I'm going to hit the um, remove CSS property, I hit the little trash can next to that. And you can see now that the div will expand the contract depending on the height of the div. You watch this, if I delete this contact us, can you see the div got smaller to fill it. Okay, so I'm going to undo that and put them back in. So, there are some divs that you want to have specific heights on there. The navigation might be one of them, okay? What we're going to do in a later tutorial is we'll show you how to do a proper nav with drop-down menus and CSS and good stuff like that. But for the moment, we're going to let it expand and contract. Now, the next one we're going to look at is putting the text inside this part here. So, I've got all of this. So I want to make sure I grab vintage all the way down to here. And if I cut this... Watch this. If I go to code view, I'm missing the beginning tag of H1 and the ending closing of this P tag here. So when you're copying and pasting, make sure you're kind of checking in code view that you've got everything. Watch this. I've actually got this body tag down here by accident. So I'm going to grab all of this. So I've got heading one all the way down to this closing P tag. So I'm in code view. I can cut and paste in code view. There's nothing wrong with that. So if I go to edit cut now, edit cut, I've cut it in code view, go to design and I'm going to paste it inside and replace this text here, so I'm going to select it all and paste it over the top by going to edit paste, but watch what happens if we cut and paste from code view. It's pasted it quite literally from code view into this part. So when you cut from code you need to paste back into code, when you cut and paste from design view they need to go back into design view. So I'm going to go to undo, and what I'm going to do is delete that text, go into code view, Okay, have my cursor between text and div and hit paste. What I like to do when I'm working is I like to put a few returns in. Okay, now the returns, you can see they are blank here and they do nothing to the code. They just allow me, I'm quite visual, so I like to see gaps between the, the opening of the text and closing of the text div. And I'm going to paste in between these two. Okay, there's maybe a few too many returns in there. But know that these spaces okay, and returns don't do anything. It just allows me very clearly to see that um, that is my text div. Okay, you can see here if I select it once, it goes gray and there's the closing div for it. All of this is inside. So hopefully back in design view, voila, we've got all of this text inside. Okay, now the text is too big for the green box, so let's remove the height from it. So I'm inside this text box. I've clicked text down here in my breadcrumbs. Okay, and I am going to remove the height. Gone. Okay, now the div tag is big enough to fit all of my stuff in here, which is great. And um, let's look at the same thing for this image over here. Um, we're going to use this image. I'm going to cut it, and I'm just going to select over here, and I'm going to paste it. Images are easier to paste than text. Um, I'm going to remove that part. Great. So I've got, what I'll do is also over here is remove the height of this image box, okay, because we don't need it to be that full um, height there that we've got of 400, so I'm going to delete it off there as well. Okay, you see that div tag expands to fit that space. My last bit is the footer, okay, which I've ended up getting up here. So I'm going to select all of that, check in code view that I've got everything, I don't, so I want all of that, and I go to cut. And I could go back to design view now, but I can see there's my footer div tag there. 
Okay, and you can see there's the junk that gets stuck in by Dreamweaver that we don't need. Content for ID footer goes here. I'm going to delete that. Put in a couple of returns just because I like to. And I'm going to paste it inside. Okay, go back to design view. And there he is inside the footer. I'm going to do the same thing. Remove the height of this footer. So I'm going to click on footer down the div tag. And over here, select the footer, which is perfect. Height, I'm going to remove the height and let the footer itself, um, so the content inside the div tag, um, um, decide on the height. Okay. And um, last thing we'll do before we leave this tutorial is we will look at removing the colored backgrounds because the colored backgrounds are just there to help you as a visual cue to know where the header is and where the nav is and it just makes it easy for training. But for our actual website, I'll leave them normally just white. Okay, because um, so let's remove the colors. So click inside your header. I know I've clicked on div header. You can see it down the breadcrumbs here. Okay, and I'm going to scroll down until I find background color. Now, an easier way to do this is you can keep scrolling till you find it. You can see I found it there. Um, there's a couple of ways. Is there's these little icons along the top. And this will let you jump down this list. Okay, so I'm going to click on this fourth one along, and it jumps down to background color. Um, even easier is see this button here that says show set. Okay, I use this quite a bit. If I click on it, it's just going to show me the properties that I've set for this heading div tag. Okay, everything else gets um, chopped off. Okay, so it just shows me this, and I can go through here and hit the trash can to get rid of the background color. Okay, now remember to turn show set um, back off again, so it shows you all these grayed out ones that if you might want to use. Okay, but show set just the ones that are active. That with it off, it shows you the whole set. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out. So you can see the purple's gone. Okay, I've got a container div. That's the gray thing in the background there. So let's grab the container div. Okay, so I've clicked on container. I've clicked anywhere in my document. I've clicked on container. And I'm going to click show set. And it should show me, there it is, my background color. And I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to keep working my way through. So the navigation, I've clicked inside. I'm going to click this nav. And down the breadcrumbs, and I'm going to say goodbye yellow. I'm going to click inside the text box, click on the text div, and I'm going to say goodbye green, and click inside the image div, click on image div down here just to be sure, and then remove the background color. And the last but not least is the footer. So I'm going to click inside footer, click on footer down the div tag, uh, down the breadcrumbs, and under background color, let's close it down. Voila. Okay, we removed all our background colors, and now we've got some div tags that have heights that will expand and contract. So watch this. In my, type, um, in my um, text here, if I add another um, return, and I start typing, okay, and I add some more returns, can you see the div tag expands and the footer pushes down? So that's how you want most of your page's heights to be um, that kind of fluid where they kind of, because uh, every page is going to be slightly different content and different lengths, so you don't want a fixed height. The heights you might want to keep are your heading, okay, because that's probably going to be the same on every page, your navigation, which is probably going to be the same on every page, and your footer. In this case, we've removed them, um, but if you want to have fixed heights, you can do that. All right, that's the end of the tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.